Auburn University students witnessed something unusual on campus, a Christian revival. On Tuesday night, a worship service spiraled into an impromptu baptism event, and it's gone viral on social media. Brady Talbert has a look at how it all started. Auburn University senior Michael Floyd says he will never forget what he witnessed on campus Tuesday night. I've seen Auburn basketball beat Kentucky. I, I've seen um, Auburn football beat Alabama, but I have never seen something like I did on Tuesday night. Thousands packed Neville Arena for a night of worship. When it was ending, one student wanted to be baptized. But without a tub, crowds started gathering at this lake at Auburn's Red Barn where roughly 200 people gave their life to Christ. Even head football coach Hugh Freeze got in the water to help. And that's just a message of beauty thing. When you're a part of the body of Christ, you're never alone. Everyone was so just excited and joyful. Kristen Carr is a student journalist who watched it all play out. Her video shows the crowd cheering every time someone resurfaced, something she hasn't seen before. Never in my life. I mean, I was even talking to adults who were there that were a part of it, and they said that they had never witnessed anything like that. And to think this all started because of a worship event. It's being called Unite Auburn. The woman behind this event says it began with just five girls meeting each week to pray in the arena, which grew to 200 students, which caught the eye of local ministries. Who said, we want to get behind this. We, we you know, we want to see this turn into something much bigger. And it did. Around 5,000 people attended Unite Auburn. It was free. Donors covered the cost. And Pruitt is already getting calls from other universities to bring similar programs to their campuses. She says something special is brewing. We see God moving in our local churches. And so last night was just you know, a, a ripple effect of what else, what is already going on. A ripple effect they hope will spread beyond the plains.